zodiac energy reading for Libra for the month of December. I'm going to relax now and get tuned in and we will see what the message is for all of you. Okay. Hmm. It's really gross. Um there's a lot of tiny pebbles. It's like eating scrambled eggs that still have eggshell in it. Um, it really throws you off eating some salmon with a bone in it. Um, but it's like eating food that has sand in it, like applesauce that has sand in it. And you feel the grittiness inside your mouth. And you feel it on your teeth and you're trying to enjoy your applesauce, but you're trying to ignore the gritty. You're trying to ignore the problem, um, the eggshell in your eggs. Um, it's really, it, it's really shocking. It's, it's like, fine, I got some eggshell in my egg, whatever. I'm just still going to eat it or try to spit it out, but you can't figure out where it is. So you just swallow it down. Um, that's what this is like. Okay. Okay, I also see a kid and they're licking the sand for the, they're like trying to understand the sand. And this is the first time on the beach and they, they literally put their face into it, like a two year old puts their face into the sand and like licks it. And now they have a mouthful of this unexpected sand and it's a mortifying moment and trying to get it off the tongue and the sand is stuck now to the fingers and it's like uh, having to live with this. It's not terrible. It's not pleasant either. It's also not the end of the world. It's just shell in your eggs. It's not the end of the world. It has to do with texture. Because I'm like, okay, well, how about a hair in your food? That seems to have a different vibrational meaning separate from what this is about. It has to be something gritty. <laughs> something um, like sand. Unexpected in your mouth. All right. Okay. The next part of the message, this has a lot to do with the third eye, the crown chakra. <sighs> has something to do with the heart. I feel like it's avoiding the throat chakra. And I feel like I'm spinning like a top. But I can't, it, it's like the world is turning, but we can't feel the earth spinning. Um, but I can tell there's a, a, a top going really fast inside my energy field and I'm kind of spinning with it. I'm kind of aware of it, but it's not knocking me off my balance. So I'm, I'm still able to walk. I'm still able to function, but it is distracting me. It is noticeable. Also, it, what's interesting is stirring things up. I can feel it's circulating the heart, it's circulating the third eye, it's circulating the crown. And believe it or not, this is a good thing. Why do I feel like the throat is being avoided here? Like the throat should be more of a participant in this, but it's um, sitting um, at the back of the the bleachers, you know, like it's, oh, it's not at the forefront of this. And I feel like it should be right alongside the crown, the third eye and the heart. But why is it taking the back seat? Is there something you're supposed to be speaking up about, but you're just going to keep it quiet because you don't have to speak up about the shell in your eggs. You don't have to. Um, it does. It's not perfect. It's not excellent, but it, it's like that happens sometimes. So maybe you're just not speaking up when really it is a problem. Maybe the shell in the eggs this time is an actual problem. Sand in your mouth is an actual problem. It's not the end of the world, but it, it is a problem. 
it it isn't it isn't right how much do we tolerate and put up with on a day-to-day basis that it's not that big of a deal over and over and over again well eventually it kind of is and their voice is what what puts the the stopper in that Um, it changes the flow of things your voice your opinion your feelings about things you have to add that ingredient into the situation because this spinning inside um, is an opportunity. The shell and the eggs is, uh, is calling your name to speak up. It feels like there's something. Why is the Libra throat so, like, staying out of this? Not going to go there. You need to speak up. It feels like there's a lack here. Maybe you speaking up throws off your idea of the balance. When you're okay with the way things are, you're okay with the balance. But what if the balance is out of balance? You're okay with it being out of balance, you can work with it. But the only way to change the balance to actually be um, healthier balance for you is to say something. But you would just say, well, it's just shelling my eggs. It's not that big of a deal. I feel like it is a big deal. I feel like, I feel like, let me just stay with this for a minute. I'm going to ask the universe, what else would it like to share with Libra? about everything we've seen thus far. Is it a big deal? Well, Libra, you have, you, (laughs) you have an important place in this world. You have an important place in this world. And you, you have the power to make things, to make it a better world. And the little things do matter. Because a lot of little sand adds up to a really annoying mouthful all at once. Just a little bit of sand here and there for days and days and days and days and days. Get used to it, right? And when it's a huge mouthful all at once, it's hard to be able to adjust to that. But it's like showing me the eggshells built up over time and the days and days of just letting it go is really no different than taking your mouth and licking the sand and having all this now stuck in your mouth. You can make it a better situation for yourself and everybody seems like something that Libra sees or Libra is noticing, Libra is aware of, um, that you could speak up about. But it also feels like speaking up about it might rock the boat too much and you'd rather just not rock the boat. Because you would say, well, why cry over spilt milk? But then I would say, we'll spill milk day after 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 day. Eventually there has to be a lesson learned in order to change that outcome. Because the milk shouldn't be spilt anymore. The shell shouldn't be in the eggs anymore. The sand shouldn't be built up in your mouth anymore. And this is where now third eye is getting stressed out. I don't feel the spinning on the inside. I feel like it's a coming into yourself and really taking a look at things. And it's putting pressure on your third eye's evaluation and even making a change, a choice to to express yourself in a new way creates stress, okay, um, in the third eye. Because your ego is going to evaluate this and encourage you to continue to not say anything. That's what this means to me. I'll let you interpret it. Maybe it's a little bit different in your search situation, but it's this is what they're showing me, okay? 
this is why it is affecting your heart and your third eye and your crown so much. It's even affecting your very identity and the value of you. And speaking up is actually going to bring balance. And maybe rocking the boat isn't actually rocking the boat at all. It's doing yourself and everybody a favor. Hmm. Feels like something you need to think about. That's what it feels like. I, I mean, this pressure in the third eye is just, I'm going to think about this. I'm going to just step back and I'm just going to think about this and decide what this means to me. I think that sounds great. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's the message. Hmm. Thank you all so much for watching. If any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I have two other YouTube channels. You can check me out at Abby Normal and at um, Abby Psychic Services. I'm also on patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. Okay, thank you all again for watching and have a great December and a wonderful rest of your 2020.